I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on our Google Slides for kindergarten. Each slide has audio right here so that children can click and listen to what is being said. Then you'll go to the next slide coming down here. There again is audio to say what this text says and then a video of me with the kids. I'll just quickly go through here now for a minute. Each slide has audio. Many of them have fun little videos to watch. But we also have some activities off the computer. So like on this page, I want the children to draw. And if they would like to, they can email or text me a picture of what they did. I'd like to see their work be part of their education still. So. Phonics worksheets, I'm doing it with the kids just like we would do in class. There again is more phonics worksheets. This is our reading practice. I would like them to get off the computer and read those words to someone. Here is a book about tigers. We're going to be doing writing about jungle animals. So today's animal is a tiger and every day for the next two weeks will be a jungle animal that they write about. Some questions. I give a break in between every question for them to think of the answer or to discuss with you. Right here, I'm going to try to fix this, but as of now, you click on this link and we sing our writing song together. So in just a second, you'll notice that a video of me singing with the kids will pop up. Hopefully I can get this fixed because I would like it to be... Okay, there we go. That's enough. <laughs> so anyway, you can access that right there. The only thing I don't like is you'll notice you have to exit out of that and I don't like that. So I'm going to try to get that uploaded in a more efficient way. Next page. Maybe writing with your children. Now, um, there's a note there. It's really, really important to not spell words for kids. It actually increases their confidence in independent writing if they can sound the words out themselves. So as a parent, you might just say, what word are you trying to write? Let's stretch it out. So let's say we're going to spell tigers. I g and have them write each sound. You can even say what's the next sound you hear in the word. So if they already have t I written down, you could say what's the next sound t I and have them say g. That will increase increase their confidence even more. So uh, right here, this is a little bit more tricky. Go Math, we're going to access through the Cache County School District apps right here. So we'll have to click here. Um, before I click on that, I do have here, if you would rather not go online, this work can be completely done from the packet that we sent home. There's just some fun additions if you go on to here. You're going to click on Think Central. Um, this takes a minute to load. I'm sure it's overloaded with everything going on with the school. So I'm going to pause my video and log in with someone's account and we'll look at that without the student's name included. Okay, so I've logged on to Think Central and here it says things to do. You click there and you'll notice the assignments that I've given. So we would go through part one and part two for the first day. We're going to do one lesson a day, so 9.3 is one lesson. Part one, click here, click here. All right, this just kind of tells you how to get different places. Now, your child is going to listen. If they don't have someone reading it, they can listen here and then pick the answers that are correct. Go to the next page. I've already done this once, so 
I'm not able to click there. But I wanted to show you math on the spot. This is kind of fun. The kids really like it. Personally, as an adult, sometimes they're a little obnoxious, but the kids really like it. So that's what we're going for here. Um, you can look at math on the spot here. It will have fun little videos that go with each lesson. So that's kind of a fun way for the students to learn things that I would have been teaching in the classroom. If you did not pick up your packet, you can access the textbook here. You'll need to print from this screen. So it's a lot of color, a lot of print, so I'm hoping you're able to pick up the packet. If not, though, this is a great resource. There's the page. So um, here on GoMath, we don't have that page, but you can do a hands-on at home. So that's why it says hands-on here. We have a packet in of little a little, little baggie of shapes in your packet that you can use to sort with. And you'll need those shapes over and over again, so don't throw those away and bring them back to school when we come back. Okay. You can print this page, but I don't think you really would want or need to do that. So there you go. Quick little tutorial on our website. Uh, as always, you can call or email me with any questions. Thanks.